Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical expression root 5 plus root 10 plus root 15 divided by root 5 minus root 10 plus root 15 whole to the power 4. So let's start. We suppose that uh, this expression inside parentheses let x is equal to root 5 plus uh, root 10 plus root 15 divided by root 5 minus root 10 plus root 15. It means that this expression is equal to x to the power 4. So, we need to find the value of x to the power 4. Now, x is equal to root 5. Thus, uh, this uh, root 10 can be written as uh, root 5 times root 2 plus this root 15 can be written as a uh, root 5 times root 3 divided by root 5 minus this root 10 can be written as a uh, root 5 times root 2 plus this root 15 can be written as a uh, root 5 times root 3. Next, x is equal to, from the numerator we can factor out root 5. In bracket left 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 divided by, from the denominator we can factor out root 5. In bracket left 1 minus root 2 plus root 3. Now, this root 5 will be cancelled out with this root 5 and we are left with x is equal to, we combine these two terms uh, root 3 and this 1, root 3 plus 1. We use parenthesis to make this a uh, group plus this root 2 divided by, we combine these two terms uh, root 3 and this 1, root 3 plus 1. We use parentheses to make this a uh, group. This negative root 2, negative root 2. Now, to rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide by the conjugate of this uh, denominator. The conjugate is uh, root 3 plus 1 plus root 2 divided by root 3 plus 1 plus root 2. Next, x is equal to, in the denominator we have same expression here and same expression. So, this will become whole square root 3 plus 1 plus root 2 whole squared divided by by using this algebraic identity a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This expression times this expression will become root 3 plus 1 squared minus root 2 squared. Next, x is equal to by using this identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This expression in the numerator will become root 3 plus 1 whole squared plus 2 times root 3 plus 1 times root 2 plus uh, root 2 squared divided by, by using this identity, this uh, root 3 plus 1 whole squared will become root 3 squared plus 2 times uh, root 3 times 1 plus 
1 squared. This uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and uh, here we are left with the negative 2. X, x is equal to now by using this algebraic identity this uh, root 3 plus 1 whole square will become root 3 square plus 2 times uh, root 3 times 1 plus uh, 1 squared is 1 plus uh, this is 2 times root 2 2 times root 2 times uh, this root 3 plus 1 plus uh, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and uh, here we are left with uh, 2 divided by this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and here we are left with uh, 3 plus uh, 2 times root 3 plus 1 minus 2 next x is equal to this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and here we are left with uh, 3 plus uh, 2 times root 3 plus 1 plus uh, 2 times root 2 times root 3 will become 2 times root 6 plus uh, 2 times root 2 times 1 2 times root 2 plus this 2 divided by this uh, 3 plus 1 4 and 4 minus 2 will become 2 plus this 2 times root 3. Next x is equal to this 3 plus 1 4 4 plus this 2 will become 6 plus uh, this expression 2 times root 3 plus this expression 2 times root 6 plus uh, this 2 times root 2 divided by 2 plus uh, 2 times root 3. Next x is equal to now from the numerator we can factor out 2 and uh, in bracket left uh, 3 plus uh, root 3 plus root 6 plus root 2 divided by from the denominator we can factor out 2 in bracket left uh, 1 plus uh, root 3. Now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2. We are left with uh, x is equal to 3 plus uh, root 3 plus root 6 plus root 2 divided by this uh, 1 plus root 3 is same as root 3 plus uh, 1. Now this 3 can be written as 3 can be written as uh, root 3 times root 3. So, this will become x is equal to root 3 times root 3 plus this root 3 root 3 plus uh, this root 6 can be written as uh, root 3 times root 2 plus this root 2 divided by root 3 plus 1. Now, x, x is equal to from these two terms uh, we can factor out root 3. Root 3 as common factor in bracket left uh, root 3 plus 1. And from these two terms uh, we can factor out root 2 plus root 2 as common factor in bracket left uh, root 3 plus 1 divided by this root 3 plus 1. Now, in the numerator this uh, root 3 plus 1 is common. So, this will become x is equal to root 3 plus 1 as common factor and in bracket left uh, root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 plus 1. 
in this root c plus 1 will be cancelled out with this root c plus 1. And we are left with x is equal to root 3 plus root 2. And because uh, we need to find the value of x to the power 4, so we square both sides of uh, this equation. So, this will become x squared is equal to this uh, root 3 plus root 2 whole square will become root 3 squared plus uh, 2 times uh, root 3 times root 2 plus uh, root 2 squared. Now, this uh, square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and this 3 plus uh, 2 will become 3 plus 2 will become 5 plus uh, 2 times root 3 times root 2 will become 2 times root 6 and this is equal to x squared and from here we take square of uh, both sides again. So, this will become x to the power 4 is equal to 5 plus 2 times root 6 whole squared will become 5 squared plus 2 times 5 times 2 times root 6 plus 2 times root 6 squared. Next, x to the power 4 is equal to 5 squared is 25 plus 2 times 5, 10, 10 times 2, 20 times root 6 plus this uh, 2 squared is 4 and 4 times 6, 24. Next, x to the power 4 is equal to this 25 plus 24 will become 49 plus 20 times root 6. So, this is the value of x to the power 4. This is the final answer. So, this expression is equal to 49 plus 20 times root 6.